Okay, so, E1M6, Central Processing. This map, as long as you know where to go, it shouldn't be too much of a bother, but there are instances where you're going to end up incredibly vulnerable. Let's end that right away. This is a re-recording, just as a by-the-by. The last recording I did of this, uh, I wasn't really proud of my performance, and I thought to myself, you know, I could do that much better. So let's try for that much better. Ahead of time, I am just going to blow up the barrels in this room, because anyone who knows this room knows exactly what we're in for. Oh my god, where? Where even? Okay, okay dead center? Alright, grabbing the chain gun. That should get most of the big threats wrangled. I need to get out of this room or else I am going to be swarmed by imps. Making sure I'm grabbing everything I could possibly need. Switching back to shotgun. Because this room is filled with uh, general ambushes. Not exactly the most inviting of episode 1 events. Alright, red key room. Plenty of soldiers in here. Alright, turning around. So, the second you grab the blue key, you want to head this way to grab the rad suit immediately. And the soul sphere. There's really no way forward when you grab the soul sphere, so turn right around, mega armor in front of you. Alright. It doesn't get any easier from here. Just gonna walk right in. Heal the demons. There are a fair amount of them. I think there's another one in this corner. Yep. Alright. First thing we're gonna do... We're gonna take care of the imps in that window. Uh, we're not gonna enter this room. Because the second we enter this corridor... That platform lowers. Demon and a specter. Okay. So, let's enter this room the cool way. So, you can enter... the blue key room the regular way, and there will be a maze that awaits you. A maze that we don't have to do. So let's turn right back around. And now there should be a couple of imps in the area. First things first. Shotgun. Ah, of course there were three imps. Almost forgot. FD. 
the only thing you'd really get out of that maze is more imps, more shotgunners, a computer map. Okay, fine. Let's get the whole horde on this. Ooh, okay. Shotgunner decided to solve that problem real quick. Yeah, this room is swarming with enemies. These are words swarming a lot. Brawling with enemies. Alright. Watch your business. Had to back up a bit, wanted to blow up the barrels. Alright, let's get that room nice and... Nice and awake. I am not letting go of the fire button. Uh, oh, I thought it were... <coughs> I thought there was one more in that corner. There we go. Alright, now, this room. Wander off here. Fire off a few rockets. Gonna haul up in here. That should be... Oh, there's one more specter. Alright, didn't need to worry about that room opening, but that's central processing. No, the computer map room is not considered a secret. So therefore, we got 100% secrets as well. Okay. That's done. Next room, computer station. Alright, so, E1M7, computer station. Tenth ultimate level of episode one. I don't know why a demon's making imp sounds. So, a uh, uh, content warning for this video. Just because YouTube just get a little stingy and sensitive around red blood, and I completely understand, for the record. Uh, through the power of wizardry, I am turning all red blood into green blood. It's just for the sake of the video. It shouldn't affect the overall content. I remember the res being this low. Oh, that imp body just disappeared. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, that does clear things up. This is a... This is a pretty strong game for older computers, so anything to clear up memory, I guess. Okay, I need to get back down here. Gotta make up for past performance. Already, like I can already hear so many different enemies. Let me just clear things up in this room before we move on. Don't want any strays to sneak me. All right, uh, yellow room. I want to enter this from the right side. I gotta remember. He's our Normally I leave this room for last before the final key room, but today I feel like I need to. 
I need to deal with this group. Uh, I will come back for that rocket launcher. Okay. I'm pretty sure there are enemies out of the courtyard we want to avoid. Not quite yet. Okay. Inch my way up. There's a platform that lowers two shotgunners. Oh, right. Boy, good thing that that switch happened. That would have been damage. I would rather deal with the task at hand before we get to some of the secrets. Oh, look at the shot there. That one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, far away. Don't need to worry about it. Oh, I haven't picked up a chain gun. gonna make things interesting okay speeding past this you Shells. There we go. Computer map. And we need to get moving as fast as possible. Do the rad suit. Grab Mega Armor and Soul Sphere. The reason I saved that area for pretty much last. Alright, we're finally going to take care of most of that imp growling. Alright. Not dead after two shotgun blasts. <laughs> what? Okay. This one, yeah, it is. We have an extra soul sphere here if we ever needed it. Yeah. No other reason to really be in this outer courtyard. Other than the soul sphere at the end. Right. Running open being on the same gate. Get back in here. Oh, 
I'm gonna have to take some hits. They're just everywhere at this point. But we've got the health and the armor to do so. And actually, we've got the bullets to do so. A little too hard on that turn. And... That is Computer Station! Not as rough of a map as I thought it would be. Because most of it can be solved by the secret Mega Armor and Soul Sphere. With that... Ah, uh, no, I don't need to save my game. We enter Phobos Anomaly. Okay, so, E1M8, Phobos Anomaly. Episode 1's final mission. Right away. We want to... Ooh, very lucky. Normally, there are at least a few demons surviving, but one? Yeah. I'm just going to stick up here, kill him. Very lucky. Very lucky on the barrels. Holy smokes, I'll take that. Walk up here, get a refill on ammo. You don't really have to worry too much about enemies from this point on. Okay. Yeah, from lucky barrels to unlucky shotguns with me and shotguns. So, once you go up here, the real fight begins. On Ultraviolence, this room is normally swimming with specters, but here... Two Barons of Hell. Normally, you would have plenty of rockets to take care of these things, but not here. Oh no. They're just kind of beefier versions of the imp. Their fireballs are faster. Their melee swipes hurt more. And I need to watch my right in case one of them sneaks around. No, you're just gonna take your sweet time. Thanks, by the way, for the barrels. <laughs> Not a hard fight at all on Hurt Me Plenty. Ultraviolence is a different story because all that nice little room in this star-shaped area, non-existent. You have specters running about, ruining your shots, and more importantly, ruining your time. But yeah, that's episode one. It's still the OG. It's still the original. It's been sort of figured out, practically figured out at this point, including E1M8, because recently someone got a 100% all kills on this map. Good old Zero Master. Why did I mention... Because of this room! That room makes it impossible to get 100% kills because there is a damaging floor below you. Sorry to ruin the illusion. But the illusion is that you died fighting. And in the process... You're in hell itself. 
And that does it for episode one. Next time, we enter the shores of hell. See you later. <laughs>